Oh yeah, webheads, you better get those gas masks ready because I am about to expose some classic dollar bin comic books. Hey, all my webheads out there, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions of what comic books to buy. But today, guys, I'm bringing you another episode of Dollar Bin Diving. That's right, guys. This is a series where I have gone diving into those back issue bins and find some of those value comic books. I show them off. I do the smell test to see what they smell like. And I'm going to give you a total of how much I spent on these back issue bins and what's comic is the smelliest one of the week so before we get started guys i just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor and that is mutant beaver comics guys they are the worldwide leader in exclusive variant comic books guys they have over a thousand comic book covers in their shop they provide the best customer service awesome shipping awesome packaging you're not going to be disappointed and if you like any of the covers that i show you here today go ahead check them out mutantbeavercomics.com use my promo code corner 10 so you can save 10 percent off of your entire purchase and future purchases after that so once again mutantbeavercomics.com all right guys so here we go the first book that we're going to show off when it comes to dollar bin diving is i wind up getting an issue master of the mystic arts dr strange this is issue 26. so we get to see that right there let me go ahead and get this out of the bag and the board now the cost of this comic was three dollars okay so here we go dr strange issue 26 kind of cool looking cover right there this one was made back in 1977 this is classic dr strange right here classic artwork he probably says kind of some weird stuff all right this is an old book man i can feel it it's like falling apart in my hands ready for the first smell test of the day oh yeah that is like attic smell all the way it, it's just i'm trying to always picture where these books might have come from and where the history is on them so uh, yeah that's that's classic right there so that is a three dollar comic book so the next book that I'm going to be showing off to you today is Marvel Premiere featuring Man Wolf. This is issue 45. Uh, I didn't even know this book existed to tell you the truth, but it looks pretty cool. You got Man Wolf on there in armor and he's got his sword and he's fighting these weird Pegasus dinosaur things. Uh, book's in pretty good shape. It's got, you know, glossy pages in there, a little bit off white. Uh, pages book's not worth anything like i said i paid maybe four bucks for it so very inexpensive and when it comes to the smell on this one this one smells pretty good for older comic not bad at all so definitely dr strange is the smelliest one of them all out of the two so far but again i paid four bucks for that book all right next you can't go without a video with me purchasing a spider-man book right so i wound up getting the web of spider-man issue 123 it's titled true lies and there you get to see ben riley looking at a top secret file there i guess of of um peter parker that's what it shows again here's the cover here all right and here's some of the artwork inside so this book is in pretty good shape it's a little bit more modern day obviously i think this is 90s book obviously right so yeah this one's pretty good smell test smells fine smells like a new comic book basically yeah this one was made in 1995 and again i paid two dollars and fifty cents for this one all right alpha flight fans you're gonna like this one this is issue number 88 of the series, right? And then I got another issue of Alpha Flight as well. This book is actually in, in really good condition. 
And I think the reason why I picked this one up is because it had the X-Men tied to it. So I was like, oh, this is cool. It's got X-Men. Yeah, check out that artwork in there. That looks cool. I mean, which book at this time did not have X-Men in it? The X-Men were so popular. Here's some more artwork in there. Right? This doesn't smell like anything. It smells like air. <laughs> and there you got some Wolverine in there as well. So pretty cool stuff right there. Again, I paid $2.50 for this book. All right, next, I talked about how there was another Alpha Flight book in here. I wound up getting Alpha Flight issue 87. Again, this one was for the reason of the X-Men and Wolverine being in this book. So check out that cover right there. Really nice looking cover. Smell test on this. Smells like air. Smells like grapes. I don't know. Here's the interior artwork in there. How many of you guys are Alpha Flight fans out there? Let me know in the comments section below. I think I have issue one and that's about it besides these ones that I'm currently just picked up. So here we go. There's some Alpha Flight right there. So that's pretty cool. Again, a $2.50 comic. All right, next book that I picked up. <laughs> you guys are going to love this. You're going to love this book for another $2.50. Doom 2099 issue one. Check out that cover. Yes. So cool, man. I was like, yes, I got to get Doom 2099. This book's in perfect shape. Again, smell test. Well, it smells like an older comic, even though it's not as old as some of the others. But look at the artwork in this book. That, that actually looks pretty cool right there. So that's nice. There's some more. I want to see Doom as like Doom 2099. Do we get to actually see him? Oh, yeah. He just doesn't have his mask on yet. He's all bandaged up. So pretty cool, man. I was like, yeah, I never had Doom 2099. So why not grab him, right? All right. Then next, we wind up getting a couple older books. So this one is Cloak and Dagger. This is issue one. Cloak and Dagger. You don't hear anything about Cloak and Dagger. Remember when they had their own show coming out or whatnot? It was all popular. A bunch of spec. Cloak and Dagger's got a pretty cool following, though. There's some artwork in there that you'll appreciate if you're a fan. All right. Got, gotta love the classic ads in here. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Not bad. Actually smells okay. Got that classic smell. So far, man, I think Doctor Strange takes the cake. And like I said, that book was $2.50 also. And then last but not least, another $2.50 book. This is Marvel Superhero Contest of Champions. Issue two. The champion, so it's not so glossy on there. Let's open it up. Let's do the smell test for it. It's in good shape. It smells, but it doesn't smell like the other one. Here we go. Contest of Champions. Really cool. Never read the original series. So this could be a fun read for sure. I would like to try to find issue one. <laughs> There's a note in here that says everyone should finish high school. Sorry, that's your PSA moment of the day, guys. There we go. And that's Contest of Champions. Also paid $2.50. So, after buying all these books, the total I paid for them was $21.50 for eight comic books. And I have to give the smell test of the day to that Master of Mystic Arts, Doctor Strange, issue 26. Congratulations, sir. You have won definitely the smelliest comic of the day. This one is rough. I mean, this doesn't even come close to all the other books that I picked up this week. Still, nothing beat that other book. I don't even remember what it was last week. That was so bad. But... There you guys have it. There are the bargain bin books that I picked up for the week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the series. I love bringing it to you. 
If you have any recommendations for the series, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any notifications from me. And speaking of content, guys, I'll leave you more content right here to click on. And guys, keep buying, keep collecting, and most importantly, keep reading those comics. Take care, everyone. Bye.